Hey guys, it's Kelly Lynn. I am back for a tutorial on how to get um, some cheap, cheap Ritka um, curtains, a little hack on how to hem them if they're too long. Um, so I have these curtains from Ikea. Um, that's the problem. Way too long. Um, I didn't really want to pay somebody to fix them, but I was thinking I could hem them myself. So, what I have here is an iron, I have some pins, I have a measuring ruler, scissors, and the hem tape. Um, you can get this at Joann's, you can get it at, sometimes even the grocery store. Um, Target, Hobby Lobby, all those places. So I actually started, oh, and you need your ironing board. I actually did these two panels over here. Let me move my plant out of the way. But you can see I hemmed them. They have a hem at the bottom, and then these are the unhemmed ones. So it was very simple. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how you can do this too. So um, you basically just need your um, iron here. Um, you don't have to iron it yet. What I I measured, I pre-measured mine, so I know how much I need to take off. I need to take off around 10 inches off the bottom. These are 118 inches long. I have nine foot ceilings. Um, and I've hung my curtains all the way to the top of um, the ceiling. So I'm not exact on um, 10, but anywhere close to it, I'm good. I'm, I don't have to be super crazy, but I'm just putting a pin um, here at the top and measuring. And I'm going to go all the way down the line, keeping this <coughs> excuse me, same uh, measurement. I have a little cold. I don't have COVID. I've tested myself a couple times. I don't have it. And I got my booster shot last week so I hope I better not have it <laughs> but I have a little cold and it's just taking it out of me like my throat is sore but okay so anyway you do that then you have your iron you don't want to have it um, it does not need to be oh my gosh I stopped and I appreciate it. You don't want it on a setting where you have um, steam. You do not want any steam for that hem tape. You want to read the directions <clears throat> as well. Um, notice how I'm not taking my curtains off the rod. I did not take the other ones off. I kept them on and I just came down the line like this. It just works. <clears throat> and I don't even have a, I just have, I was gonna use this, <coughs> this um, piece of cardboard I have these pins on as my template, but I just decided, you know, I'm gonna make it even easier. So, I'll just go with what I have right now. So what you're going to want to do is, at the bottom, you're going to want to make a crease. You can iron all of it if you want to. Don't iron these on, because you'll make a mess on there. So, and just go all the way down and make a nice crease on here. And that's where your hem tape is going to go. So it's nice 
to get a good crease there. <coughs> And then I'm going to keep going down the line. I'm not a sewer, so I have a sewing machine. However, I do not know how to work it. I can't remember <clears throat> how to even thread it. Um, so I, I don't want to sew. And I was going to have somebody... Uh, hem them for me, but I just didn't feel like taking them off of, oh, there's the iron, <laughs> I didn't feel like taking them off of the, um, off the, uh, rods, I just, I didn't feel like it, I'm just too lazy to do that, oh gosh, <clears throat> so, this iron just spit out some Yucky stuff. Do your irons ever do that? So you're going to want to do it on the side that is on the back. If I didn't mention that. See how I flipped the curtain? So this is the underside of the curtain. Alright, so um, I took, I'm going to take all my pins out. And I'm going to put them back responsibly on this, whatever pin board you have. I just want to do that. And then I'm going to take my hem tape and I'm going to unfold here. <clears throat> and I'm going to just take the hem tape and lay it in that crease that I've just made. It's really easy to tear, so I'm just going to tear it off, just for the video. And then, just gently lay it back on. Alright, and this is where the magic happens. Take your iron, and stick it on there for a few seconds. Three to five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Press. One, two, three, four, five, press. One, two, three, four, five, press. One, two, three, four, five. And then I like to just check. Oh, I need to redo this part right here. One, two, three, four, five. You can see if it didn't iron on, if it didn't take and it needs a little bit more heat. You can always add more heat. You'll see the spots when you pull it back. Yep, good. Alright, so now we're going to do the rest of the panel. These panels are 50, I believe, inches wide. <clears throat> this hem tape is more than enough. So I'm going to take some more hem tape. Lay it on that crease. And, oh, you can hear my husband's in a meeting at work in the office. It's kind of loud. <laughs> so, all right, and then we're going to press again. One, two, three, four, five. I like to apply pressure. Some parts of. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. And let's see. Oh, this little section needs it again. One, two, three, five. Okay. This little section. So that's good. Okay, so we got all of the hem tape. It's nice. Oh, except right here. This that section is sometimes a little harder because it is thicker. <coughs> so it might need a couple times. Yep. Yeah. Right, we got it. Okay. Okay, 
So, now that we've done that, I'm just going to come all the way down this panel and I'm going to cut off this excess because I don't want it anymore. So, I just take my scissor in here and follow on the top of this. Now, the cut is not beautiful, but nobody's going to be on the inside of my curtain. Or they shouldn't be. You know. I suppose I could make it prettier, but I don't really care. There are ways you can make it prettier. You can use another piece of hemp tape. And fold it over. I'm just... I'm fine with it being like this. It's not too bad, but it's not beautiful. Um, but this is a super easy affordable way to make some very affordable two long curtains fit your space. All right, and then this is all the excess panel that I had that I don't need anymore. <clears throat> you can use it for something. And this is what the back side of the panel, curtain panel looks like. See, it's not bad. And then just flip it back around and it's done. Now you just wanna make sure that back part, I wanted a little bit of pull still. Cause I like a little pulling, puddling at the bottom. So I have that. And this is the before. Great, right? So, well, I just wanted to show you guys a little easy, quick method of how to um, fix curtains that are too long, uh, that you really like, but you don't want to spend a lot of money to have somebody else do them. Um, I will place a um, link in the description box to the hem tape that I used. And I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.